Afternoon everybody, Adam Kilwell here for Outdoor Analytics. And I thought I'd take this time here, um, early afternoon, to share with everybody one of my tips or tactics for this late season hunting. Now, I'm here in Iowa and it's uh, post Christmas, it's the, the late season muzzleloader slash bow season. And uh, it's warmed up today to a nice and balmy negative five. So I thought I'd take this chance or this opportunity to get out here and hunt a transition area from cover to food. And when it's cold like this, these deer have to get up on their feet and feed. So the action can be pretty good if you know where it, where it be. But one of the things when it's cold like this is that you have to know the proper layering system and the proper uh, outer garments to wear, which has been talked about thousands of times now. Um, Obviously I'm in a blind here, which helps out quite a bit. Um, but on top of that, there's a couple of things you need. One is a good outer layer. And what I have on is the Fanatic series from Sitka, which is arguably one of the, the best all around late season outer garments. Uh, there's the incinerator for when it's even colder. First Light has their Sanctuary series, which is awesome. And even Cabela's has their Stan Hunter Extreme, which is extremely, extremely good outer pieces. But the tip or tactic or maybe secret I'm going to talk about today, uh, besides my daughter's good luck necklace that I've worn several times this year, is this piece underneath it that I have, which is uh, what I consider a mid-layer, but it's by Cabela's, and it is called their Stand Hunter or Stand Hunter Extreme Base Layer. And what it is, is it's their base layer with, um, as you can see, it's, it's merino wool, heavyweight merino, combined with 100 grams of primal oft in these baffles here. And what that does, uh, what it does for me is it allows me to extend whatever piece, whatever outerwear I'm wearing to the next layer, the next uh, season or temperature drop. And what I mean is, um, if, I'm, if it's earlier season and I'm wearing the, say, if Sitka Equinox or Stratus series or Fanatic Light, and I throw this on, well now that Fanatic Light just turns into the same insulation as a Fanatic. If I have the Fanatic on, which I do right now, with this mid layer, I've just turned this into the warmth of the incinerator. So it really helps extend that piece. In first light, if you uh, wear the Woolberry and you layer this under the Woolberry, well then now you have the, the uh, Sanctuary series level of warmth. And you have that in a package that fits fairly close to skin, um, like a heavyweight merino wood, and is moves with you and it's not puffy like a big insulation piece. So it, uh, I've heard they're, they might be uh, discontinuing these, so if you're interested in these, please go out and, and check them out, take a look at them, because they're a really solid, really well-built piece. Um, they keep you really warm. As you can see here, I don't even have my jacket on yet, the Fanatic jacket, which I'm sure I will put it on later, but well, for right now, it's, it's okay. Um, these things work well. They allow you to extend whatever outer garment you have on. They, uh, they fit great. They move with you. Um, and they're just an all-around great piece to add. They are a little pricey. They're a little over 100 bucks per top or bottom. But if you can look at the sales, sales especially um, Black Friday, they were on for like $40, uh, $40 $40, $50. And post-Christmas, I'm sure the sales will go on uh, too, especially if they're discontinuing. But this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I think I, you know, if anything, I should buy another set to keep with me. But they really allow you to extend that season out. So... That's just a, a tip and tactic here um, from Outdoor Analytics. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can check this out and these pieces out, and it helps you like it's helped me. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to shut up now, and hopefully get the camera turned around and and uh, see some of these deer get on their feet. So have a good late season, everybody.